everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress with your daily dust for August 24th, Thursday, August 24th, if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it. It's also a timeless reading. I am on a pastel journey. Gonna take me a pastel journey. <laughs> pastel journey on the way home. I'm taking this journey, hopefully most likely through the end of August, if you're watching in real time, but you can take this journey whenever you stumble upon it. And so next up for my pastel decks is the Crystal Unicorn Tarot by Pamela Chen, illustrated by Lisa Higuchi. Higuchi? And and she's kind of like, I feel like this will be my inspiration to do my my tar my fairy tarot whenever I start designing it. I have two ideas. One is to make it like a, a Rider Waite clone, like this one is, or I don't want what I don't know what my other idea. Just like free form, just whatever I want. Um, but this one's neat because. She and not only is it just a clone, but she has the word crystal unicorn ahead of it, so all of the the cards have a, a crystal associated with it, which I like. So I might do something similar, like an association kind of deck, a cherry or some kind of I don't know. <laughs> Thinking about that. So if you have any ideas and suggestions, just let me know in the comment section. But this is a really pretty pastel deck. So let's give it a good shuffle. And then I'll pick three cards for a collective message. Mm -hmm. We have Knight of Swords. Okay. And... Ooh, the Queen of Wands. It looks like a nice couple there. So, air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, and uh, Aries. And then we have the Seven of Wands. All right. So let's zoom on in and see what we get. The King of Swords is all about the power to make good choices. And you have enough time to explore your options. Or this could be somebody in your life who's feeling this way. And they're evaluating every opportunity. And maybe you are. There's no need to rush into some kind of solution. Even if it seems obvious. Because sometimes what seems obvious is not obvious. And especially during Mercury Retrograde. So now we're one day into it. We might be feeling a little sluggish and things might not be working as well as they usually do or not. It just depends because you may feel it initially. It may take a little while to start feeling the sluggishness of the, the retrograde. But by week two or three, it feels normal again. Things feel usually pretty normal. You know what? There's always more than one way to meet every challenge. So if the first way doesn't work, don't give up you can there's a lot of times it's just about trying at a different time of day and sometimes it's trying a different approach so realize that you could have some struggles but it's it's not hopeless <laughs> it's it and, and a lot of times I've noticed that it's yeah, if I can't do it now I guess I'll just try again maybe in an hour or two hours if you have that option sometimes you don't have that option but when you do have that option I would recommend trying to do that because during your day you have different portals of opportunity to do things so then um but in general, it's about logic and intellectual things. And then this could be an advisor who's helping you with a certain direction or, or approach to something. So that could be uh, very handy here, following advice from somebody very knowledgeable and somebody you trust. Now, the Queen of Wands represents passion and that fire energy from wands. But it's also like gut feelings, like an intuition that you feel in your belly. You know, sometimes you get crown chakra 
tingles and sometimes you have the belly tingles and this is more of a of, of an intuition that just feels like compels you if makes you feel like you know there's your sacral chakra is just energized and you just know and you're ready to go <laughs> so you can accomplish a lot of goals with that sort of energy and confidence and calm and you have everything you need to dream big and get to the moon so th i feel this beautiful duo here with the swords king of swords advice intellectual advice and the queen of wands passion and confidence and calm they're able to conquer just about anything together and you have everything you need you know um, she may be the one that assures the king and then the king may give her good counsel and good advice this could also be if it's not like a romantic couple it could also be um, legal people or, or counselors or things like that so you know but I feel they're very equal so it's like Sometimes it could be one person getting advice from somebody who's equal in every way except they just have a different field of expertise and you have one field of expertise and they have another and you come together and share your expertise and but you're completely equal. So that's kind of an interesting and fun dynamic and speaking of dynamic, a couple of days ago um, there was a Daily Dust that talked about the dynamic duo and this could be the dynamic duo again coming out maybe with different signs involved than the last time I can't remember what signs came out it felt like they were mostly cups and water energy but see the dynamic duo that couple dynamic comes out in and in, in all the signs and if you resonate then and maybe you didn't resonate with that one because you didn't see yourself in those signs, but maybe you resonate in this one because you see, maybe you see yourself as a fire person or an air person. So the seven of wands is a bit about a, a little bit of defense energy, but it's, but I feel like if you, if you and another person are on the same team, then huh, I just I heard a quote in my head. <laughs> Um, well, from a, from a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie, Lionheart, and, um, and because I've been watching since eight, but anyway, but it's about the, well, the, the quote comes, comes up in the show because of Felix and what's the other guy's name. Anyway, they're friends, right? They're very strong friends and it's like better together that's what it is you know where one person could be easily bullied or overpowered when you have somebody else on your side it's better together this could be a defense lawyer interestingly enough for some people who that resonates with um, or either one you know the defense lawyer um, or whoever's on your side helping you in this particular day somebody could be coming to your defense to help you feel better about a situation that you're in and maybe even just say something really positive that kind of lights you up and makes you feel better so I think that's a, a really nice energy here sometimes challenges do come from you in all directions sometimes you feel like you're being teased or 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 hit with all these different naysayers or negativity they come from all these different directions but um, and sometimes you feel outnumbered right and maybe you still are outnumbered but at least you have one person on your side but I feel like you you know maybe you have more than one person you just don't realize but one ex at least very verbal person on your side somebody who's going to speak up and I, I just feel with the queen of wands if this represents you you don't you know it's almost like you don't need this person's help because you're very strong and you can stand up for yourself all by yourself but it is so reassuring to have this additional voice this is the intellectual side of things if you go from your gut and your passion and you're like you you feel a certain way if sometimes people don't listen to that unless there's some kind of intellectual written document or something to back it up you know some kind of expert paper article or whatever and then that way you, you have more ammunition to back up your cause because you've done research 
wherever you've done your research, you know, and then you can defend yourself and say, see, and that could also be what the King of Swords is for some of you. It could be just the, the research that you've done or this expert that you looked up or something like that to defend your position or something or vice versa. You could be this person who speaks up because you did the research um, behind the Queen of Wands energy, whatever she may represent, which is, could be lots of things. It could be um, having something to do with sports and activity or, um, yeah, mostly dance or uh, performance or things like that. So this, it's, it's definitely uh, another dynamic duo here and they're better together and no longer outnumbered because because the two two heads together create a very powerful force to be reckoned with where these people that are coming at you they're just it's like fluff it's like you know what another vision came into my head um if you ever seen sleeping beauty the disney version of sleeping Be beauty the animated version at right around kind of towards the end of the movie prince philip has to defend himself against the the dragon and um she's shooting arrows at him but the fairies turn that now look it looks like he's outnumbered because it's just him against this humongous dragon fire breathing dragon right but the fairies are there the fairies are there to help him so there's so the army around this dragon is shooting arrows at Prince Eric, but the fairies turn the arrows into flowers. And so I feel like it's something like that. It's like something's going to be tar tar targeting you maybe, but some by some magic or some power, it's not going to harm you because it turns into a flower that's easily deflected or some kind of not unimportant thing it just you just turn it it's like you have to imagine that these words turn into poof it's also kind of like um the ridiculous spell it's like something that seems scary you you put a spell on it and turn it into something ridiculous and then it makes you laugh and that's what you need that kind of energy and power to deflect this this negativity because the negativity can't get you it's not allowed <laughs> so you know, even if you're not a fi fighter, you're going to turn into sort of a fighter in this cause, you know, especially when it comes to defending yourself. And there's just a lot of perseverance here and integrity. So you can do this. And I feel like even if it even if it's more than just the two of you, you definitely have support on your side. And whether you can imagine it or not, you have angelic support. You have a team of golden light surrounding you and really protecting you hard. And that's funny because I'm about to do a reading for somebody all about what who their spirit team is. And if you like a reading like that, then definitely reach out to me with my email address and um, I'll send you a how-to because sometimes these daily deaths can lead to more questions that you might have and I might be able to answer them. <laughs> I think, in fact, I can answer them. So I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. <music>